everybody, I'm Anna O'Brien, and if you're new to my channel, then you may not know that it's Haul Week! Basically a haul every single day because uh, I have issues, I shop too much, and I've been so crazy with work the past couple weeks that I got way behind, so I'm just hauling it all up. So this week's haul is all about workwear. See, some people think that workwear has to be, hmm, but it doesn't. You can have a lot of fun at work. So we're gonna jump right in into some pieces that I absolutely love for the office. And yeah, hope you like what you see. The first item we have is a pair of white cropped pants. They're from Lane Bryant. Ooh, it makes me glow. So these are pretty comfortable. My only note is the pockets are a little small and the fit at the top is not perfect for me. Um, I think it's because I need just a little bit more fabric in the booty to make this less pull because what it's doing is it's pulling because it's tight across the booty region up here and if this was just like a half an inch longer, I wouldn't have that pull. Also, you can see I have extra room here even though it is elasticized. So it's good, it's not great. Um, they are really comfortable though, like they're pretty like, they're like wearing leggings but professional-ish. They are tighter than I thought they would be. I think that's supposed to be the style based on the stretch of the fabric, but I think with the right length shirt, could totally be appropriate for work. Um, these are in a size 24 and they are the Control Smart Stretch Pants. Now these are great because white is a super hot color. You can wear these on the weekend with a t-shirt or a crop top and be very stylish. But in the office with a nice kind of colored button down and maybe a blazer to kind of tone down the white, it's totally appropriate to wear these to work. So I think these are a great basic to kind of have. They have a really, really nice stretch. So if you're like me and you're in the office for a long time, you can wear these be comfortable. I always look for a nice stretch in anything I'm wearing for a dress pant solely because it's going to be more comfortable if I'm working late hours. Uh, additionally, we look at the waistband here has a nice elastic to it. I've noticed Lane Bryan has started doing this in their dress pants and I think it's to prevent a gap waist. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty like pretty, pretty good about it. This is made of cotton and spandex, so it's actually unusually breathable for this type of pants. So you're gonna get that nice stretch of the spandex, but you're also gonna get the breathability of the cotton. So I actually think these are a great find. I know they do have them in other colors, so if white is a little scary for you, they have traditional colors as well, and I'll link to those um, down in the comments so you can check them out as well. This is a great summer pant too because shorts really aren't appropriate for the office, but a nice ankle pant, a flood, or a crop, are gonna be appropriate if styled correctly. So check these out. Next, we're gonna start hitting like the giant cave of Iloqui clothing. If you have not checked out Iloqui, they are by far the best, in my opinion, for work clothing that is super fashionable. So I love this skirt. I absolutely love it. The little bow is adorable. The pleats flatter me so much. And pockets! Seriously, it's the thing I get most excited for. If something is a dress and has pockets, it's like, sign me up, I'll take 20. First, we have an adorable kind of just longer than knee length skirt. I love the pattern here. It's super fun. It's a nice retro floral. Check out the pattern. Ooh, so much pattern fun. I love this skirt because not only is it fun and functional, it has a ton of like a cute little tie that comes around the front. Boop, boop, boop. and also pockets. So if you're like me and you work in an office where there's a badging system, you can throw your keys or your badge in your pocket, even your credit card if you're gonna go run down the street and get some food and come back, I think it's a really adorable skirt. Additionally, this skirt is in a lot of great colors. So you can easily pair this with white or black, and this would look actually adorable with kind of a white blouse or a cream blouse and a little black blazer. So I had to get it when I saw it. I was obsessed with the pattern. It kind of is a nice nod to that 70s floral trend, but not too far into it that it feels like crazy town. So I love this. <laughs> Next item I have, oh, I saw this on the site, again, Iloqui, and I could not resist it. It is a super fun, non-stretch fabric, cut, I think it's cotton, let me check out what world it's made of. Check out what world it's made of. Check it out, what are you made? I can't find what it's made of. So, oh my gosh, it also has pockets. Yes! 
Uh, it is a little big up here. I probably should have gotten, I don't know if I could have gotten a size down, but it's a little gappy. But yeah, maybe if I can put some darts in there, but it's a little, you were made for somebody like me. Hold on, there's like a little thing and a thing that maybe we'll say. Oh, <laughs> I just ripped my chance to return, so hopefully it works. Nope. I don't know what this is, but it's a non-stretch fabric that has a nice kind of like woven texture to it. I don't know if you can see it. Woven texture. See, there's a nice woven texture to it. It is spaghetti strapped or a little bit longer than not spaghetti strapped. It's that it has about a one inch thick black strap. So if you were gonna wear this office, this would definitely need a blazer or a jacket or a cardigan over it. But still, I love the cut here, fit and flare. So again, not too fitted, totally appropriate, but definitely edgy. I like that this is a nice pattern, right? It's something bold, but it's in a classic cut. So that's a cool way to wear patterns for the office is to find something that's really bold, but in a very simple silhouette. Silhouette. <laughs> silhouette. So you're not competing too much between the cut and the design, or not the cut and the design, between the cut and the pattern of the object. So it's really your eye can focus on one thing, because if you go too far over the board, which is fine, maybe when you're walking down the street or hanging out with your friends, it'll be too much for the office. So this is, this is perfect, crazy bold. I love how they've given this point straight up because it's gonna bring your eyes to my face. It's gonna make it real quick there. Anyway, it reminded me of a joke as a child that we used to tell about, anyway, I'm not even gonna talk about it. If you know what joke I'm talking about, you will because of this, please just write it down below and I will laugh really hard. Next dress is also from Iloquy. It's this lovely kind of blousey tiered, uh, tiered ruffle at the bottom with an accentuated waist. If I was on Little House on the Prairie, shining down for everybody as the big bright sun that lit the fields aglow, I feel like the sun from one of them old time shows, shining bright high up there, you know. Do you know? This is from the Viola Collection. If you are a pear-shaped girl and you have not checked out the Illiqui Viola Collection, you need to get on that. The reason you need to get on that is because I'm obsessed with it. I buy pretty much everything that comes from the Viola Collection. You'll see three items today. You'll see other items in other hauls. And the reason I want you to shop there is because I want you, them to continue making it. It is a totally selfish ploy for you to shop there. It's a new thing that they started last year. I got to mo model for it. It was super fun, but I want them to keep making it because I'm concerned if not enough girls buy it that I will struggle to find some of the items I want cut for big hips. So please go buy it. This is really cute. I love the neckline. Again, very appropriate for work. This little waist here is gonna cinch in. This is a perfect summer work dress. Put a fun necklace, even the one I'm wearing right now would look really cute with this, and you're good to go. Um, I love in the summer just a simple dress that can go. Again, all of the loose fitting fabric here is gonna make it very comfortable, and I like to think about comfort for work. I think it's often neglected, but I think it's super important that if you're sitting at your desk for you know 14 hours, damn it, you should be comfortable. Um, this blue, it feels like kind of that rayon mix, but like a nicer um, quality of it. It's quite soft for what it is, and it does have a lining underneath. The lining itself um, is kind of like a less shiny acetate. I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm seeing what it is right here. And it is polyester, and the lining is basically a polyester spandex blend. So, love this. Love this so much, I'm so excited, it's my favorite color, yeah. <laughs> Not to Reliqui, also from the Viola line, is this parrot top! <laughs> I feel like if I wore this to work and it was a slow day, I would just end up having the parrots talk to each other like, hey Sandra, we've been hanging out here a while, aren't you getting tired? But Jimmy, I love the view. Sandra, your voice is a little weird for a woman. <laughs> Is this parrot top? Bolly wants some fashion. Bolly wants some fashion. I'm obsessed with this. I think this is a super fun, adorable way to have something a little bit different at work, to surprise people. 
uh, and still be totally work appropriate. So the reason you can get away with kind of this Miss Frizzle-esque quality of the parrots here is because the cut of the blouse is so corporate, right? You have this nice kind of fold over tulip sleeve. You have a full cut here. It's a silky material. It looks very expensive with a little bit of quirk. And if you look, a lot of modern designers do add quirky elements to their designs. So it's basically coming off as a much a more expensive piece than it was if we just had like a Forever 21 version of this. So that's another way you can get away with a little whimsy at work is if you're buying high quality pieces with formal cuts and little, you know, real design behind them, these little touches look appropriate versus more trendy. So I'm, I'm love this. I love it so much. I stocked this on the site till there was a sale and then I bought everything. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with it. It's gonna be so cute. <laughs> I have so many plans for it. Ah, sorry, I'm really, I'm really amped. The next item I have is also from Illigui, also from the Viola Cut, and it is a simple black blazer. Every time I put this jacket on, I'm just reminded about how comfortable it is. It really is one of the most comfortable jackets I've ever owned, and it still looks amazingly professional. 100% win on this, must buy it for your career girl. Super comfortable. Now the reason I love this black blazer is it's actually more of a, I would say a heavy sweatshirt material, actually not even a heavy sweatshirt, a light sweatshirt material. It's more of a travel blazer, so this is gonna travel a lot better. It's very um, comfortable, again, comfort is really important, so it's not like a crepe suiting fabric, it is more of like a pont knit. I love it because it's cut in viola, so I don't need to have that back vent here. It's gonna be able to just wear the button at the waist, it's gonna fit me appropriately because it's cut for the bigger hips. I will link to both the viola version and the non-viola version, so if you are an apple or an inverted triangle, or you know, Hourglass may or may not want to try the viola cut just to see if it works for them. You might want to try a different, you know, not the viola cut, but for me, being able to have this in viola means it's just going to fit me so much better. And again, they're not paying me for this video. It's literally like selfish reasons. Go buy it so I can have it forever. Because I just want more. I'm like mad that they don't make more things in it. In fact, I can give you a list of things I want them to make in the viola cut. And they're never going to make those things in the viola cut until we have more girls buying it. So if you're a pair, please listen up. Viola cut, your best friend. Now we have an item from Avenue. I did show this in my unboxing, stress unboxing. I still have not tried it on. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's so foreign to me. It's a, so uh, here's to trying new things. I hate it. The color is not bad, but the fit is way off. I can't even pull it over my butt. And I could maybe wear it tucked into something, but the thing is I probably wouldn't want to. I just don't like it. It's not my jam. Meh. Pink, kind of polka dotty. Look at the polka dots. Do you see the polka dots? Do you see those pol polka dots? Um, with an open shoulder, kind of a cuff. So here I'm pulling up a trend, but I'm doing it in a suiting material, so it's still appropriate. I like the pin tuck details here. Not nuts about the tie. I kind of just wish it was pin tuck. But I'm going to give this a go, and we'll see how it looks and how we feel about it. The fabric is nice and airy, so it's really great for summer, and there is a, a cami that comes underneath that is that stretch kind of polyester fabric. The top feels like a standard, might even be cotton, but I, I'm guessing it's probably rayon. The top is polyester. Yes. So the whole top is polyester, but it feels quite nice as far as the quality of the polyester that we're getting. So I'm excited to try it on again. Something totally out of my comfort zone, but recently I've had a lot of luck with things that were totally outside of my comfort zone. So we'll see how it nets out. Next, we have a piece from a brand called Universal Standard. Now, Universal Standard is really a brand in the plus size fashion world that you should be watching. They create more of kind of like basics with really, really smart design. So they're things that you can buy and wear over and over again, and not everybody's gonna have them. So this is an amazing white blouse. See, how cool is this? So cool, I love it. And it's so comfy, it's got nice, you know, space to it. It's a little tighter on the hips, but the fabric also has some nice give to it, so it's pretty comfortable. I really like it, actually. I, I'm secretly worn it a lot because I love it. <laughs> 
it has a two shoulder deed heel, but it has a full cutout. So while the sleeves are the same length, we're getting a nice cutout here, some blousing on the side. It's very unique, very different. It's not super hangry, uh, hangry. I'm hangry. It's not super hanger sexy, right? Looking at it on the hanger, it's not very exciting. But when you put it on, it is amazing. I actually have worn this and I love it. I actually think it's the perfect white blouse for me. You know, I've always been hesitant to buy white blouses. I think this is the first time I've ever had two white blouses, but they are essential to the corporate world and finding little details like this really make, you know, an ordinary skirt pop uh, and work appropriate, but still showing you're edgy and hip and innovative in the way you think and in the way you dress. I'm a big believer that the way you dress for the office is super reflective of who you are and the skills you bring. So for example, I work in innovation, so I wanna make sure that I'm always dressed very innovatively, right? And shirts like this help me do that. The last piece I have is also from Universal Standard. It again is a really unusual, unique cut. That's what they're known for, that's their bag. They're about innovating and creating new cuts and styles not seen in the plus size world. So as Illiqui is gonna be using a lot of uh, similar cuts that are available, they do do some innovation as well. This brand is 100% focused on garment innovation. So, so things to know about this dress is it is very loose and baggy. So for me, I would probably have to belt it. And if I did belt it, it does seem to go up a little bit, so it would be a bit short for work, so I would probably wear leggings underneath it or some really fun kind of pattern types to kind of bring it alive in the winter. So absolutely love this. It is so comfortable and yeah, different. Here we can see here that this is kind of a kimono style wrap. It's fairly straight through and it's oversized at the waist. Now I will tell you for me, for a dress like this, even with these like lovely arms, oh, they're so flattering. Um, Cause like honestly, sometimes things are super tight on my arms and this isn't. For me, because I am much smaller in the waist, I do need to belt something like this. But if you're an apple shape, this dress is going to look banging with no accessories. Literally, you don't need a belt, you don't need anything. It's just going to hang on you lovely. For me, I do need to style it a little bit for it to be as flattering on my body as it would potentially be on your body. But what I will say about it is it's made of this lovely crepe fabric and it's the same thing that the white shirt was made out of. You can also see in the way it's sewn, and this is where you get into the higher end details, you can see I'm trying to cover my face. You can see the stitching is very intricate and delicate. This is not a cheaply made garment. People sometimes freak out at the price of something like this, but $100, $150 for a garment of this quality is not expensive. This is going to last you forever. It will be in your wardrobe forever. And I think that's the thing that people need to like differentiate with fast fashion versus real designer gear. It is going to last you forever and will always be stylish. So that is everything in my work week haul. Uh, it's been a lot of stuff, I know. Woo! I hope you got some ideas on how you can be more adventurous in your office attire, but still be appropriate. Uh, I think oftentimes I hear people say, that print's too loud for the office, and blah, 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 blah. And, and I often tell people it's all about how you style something. Uh, I will be working on another lookbook for the office that will really be more of a conservative office lookbook. I did one for uh, many moons ago that was very like pushing the limits on work office attire. Yes. It was really pushing the limits on office attire, and I wanna do one that is more totally work appropriate, any office you walk into from investment banking all the way down to just standard brand, working in the marketing department or in the finance department would be appropriate because I think, uh, I think that's something that, that needs more life, right? There's a lot of fashion bloggers, but not a lot of them covering office wear, and I do dress for the office a lot, and I do visit a lot of senior executives, so I know what I can wear in front of a senior executive and still be appropriate. So I'm gonna share that with you guys in the future, probably in about two weeks once I get back and kinda settle down now, because <laughs> I got some craziness in the next couple weeks. Have an amazing day, guys. Leave your comments down below. I'll try to answer everything I can. If you haven't clicked subscribe, go ahead and do that. I promise you more haul videos and lots of other fun stuff. And yeah, that's it. Check you later, guys. Peace.